When I started my independent research career at Berkeley, I still feel the semiconductor nanowire research is really at its beginning stage. There are still lots of open scientific questions to be addressed. And it turns out, actually, the semiconductor nanowire is a very, very unique structure that can really enable the solution for artificial photosynthesis. I always feel interdisciplinary is the key where you integrate the new ideas from several different communities that typically will lead into new discoveries. So the unique combination of these biological catalysts with the semiconductor nanostructure, I think that's a good example. So at that moment, I learned from the microbiology community that in nature, there are many, many of these bacteria are carrying out all these very selective CO2 chemistry with high selectivity, with very high turnover frequency. Nature just does that. But they don't have light absorbing capability, meaning that they are not photosynthetic by themselves. So that clicks. That immediately tricks me to think about, OK, we have the best inorganic semiconductor light absorber. Nature give us this best CO2 processing machinery. If we combine them together, there could be the solution. Now I think it's around 2014, we published our first fully integrated system. So it's a really solar-driven CO2 fixation by this unique combination of the semiconductor and a biological catalyst. I started to uh, interact with Shanghai Tech about four years ago uh, when the president of the university approached me to help him to set up this new school of physical science and technology. I grew up in those, that area near Shanghai, so I really want to help. And of, of course, you know, over the years, I have many, many scientific interactions with my Chinese colleagues over there. So I started to help them put in together the necessary research infrastructure, help them to do the faculty recruiting, help them to identify important research directions. One unique feature within this new school, we decide not to set up any traditional department. We hire these young scientists from everywhere. They come from chemistry community, they come from physics community, come from engineering community, from bio side. Then we place them into the same school. Their lab is next to each other. And I feel that's the way they can start to solve some of the remaining big scientific questions using this interdisciplinary approach. The most satisfying part of this job is seeing my graduate student, my postdoc, moving on to their independent research track. They are now professors at universities everywhere. In, of course, in the United States, in Asia, and in Europe. So, when I travel to all these different cities, seeing my graduate students, seeing my postdoc, they are starting their own research group, making new discoveries. That really is the happiest moment for me. <laughs>